We just got done recording two days for grand piano and voice. I mean, in this space, it's wild. I'm just starting the teardown process and the artists have left. I've got my normal headphones that I take. I mean, when you're tracking in a space like this, I still have to be quiet because I'm in the room with the individuals. So closed back is a necessity and it's rare to find a closed back headphone that I like. But I got these Focal lenses. <laughs> These are not mine. This is not sponsored. I don't get to keep these. <laughs> I didn't even want to take the plastic off because they're not mine. I just get to try them. And holy moly, they're insane. Having really good studio monitors in a studio is something like you notice how clean the low end, how everything has a space, how fast the transients are coming at you. And I'm experiencing that here, which is not something I typically <laughs> experience with headphones. Most of the time I'm listening to headphones, I'm, I'm trying to capture like the consumer side of it because people are gonna listen on drunky headphones or AirPods. So I'm gonna mix check there. And I do that a lot. With these, in a situation where I'm recording like such delicate stuff, very dynamic piano, very dynamic voice, a, a massive mic'd room like, if any three of us who are here breathing, you're gonna hear it in the recording. And these were fantastic. Uh, I was able to move mics, hear very delicate things where like these definitely get the job done. And these aren't Telefunken headphones. These are what the direct sound like EX 25s or something, just branded Telefunken. I don't know why they, they don't do that anymore, but, and these are great. I have these for players all the time. This is something completely different, and I was blown away. In a space like this, that's this big, no amount of close mics I'm gonna put on a piano is gonna make it seem like a small room on a piano. So details matter, choices matter, maintenance matters. Making sure that the sound that I'm capturing is as balanced and true to what's happening in the room because any amount of room mics are gonna show that it's not. My gosh. It was wild and, and there was no fatigue for two days of eight hours having these on. And I'm not, my ears aren't sweaty, which they definitely would be with the direct sounds. <laughs> kind of crazy. Let's go for a little walk here. Real quick, if you guys would like to help support the channel, head on over to recordingstudioloser.com, check out some new samples. I have the Propaganda Kit, a new metal kit. It's really aggressive, really in your face. I used it on my 441 video, recorded here in this room, all the room mics around here. I think it's tasty. If you wanna use it on your tracks, head to recordingstudioloser.com, look for the Propaganda Kit. I'll put a link down in the description. Thanks guys. I wanna try to convey something here. It's not a huge space but it's big. This is a space I'm not gonna recreate with plugins. It's gotta be right in the recording. <laughs> and for something classical like this, where it's a, a collection of pieces by one particular singer and one particular pianist, that's gonna be analyzed and replicated through other people doing performances. I have to be very careful about the way I capture. And I did the start of day one on my other headphones when we were kind of feeling things out. Uh, I switched to these and <laughs> I made some changes and we liked those changes and luckily we had time to finish out everything again. We went back and re-recorded things um, and that was something I, I've, I've literally never give, given thought to headphones. And again, these aren't mine. I don't get to keep them. Not a sponsored video. I've never gotten into headphones, never given them a second thought never really wanted a nice set because the few I had listened to really did not sit well with me. But the name, Lenses, as somebody who wears glasses, <laughs> at least that's how I think you pronounce it. We talk a lot on sound about like, you're, you just took a blanket off of it and now I can hear everything. As much as I could say it, it sounds like I'm sitting in front of a good set of monitors. And that is super refreshing and super exciting because I have been a guy that I need my monitors to do some work, but dang, these feel good. And there's two reasons that will typically turn me off of headphones. One, the transient is not clear and defined and it's not fast enough. Like the speaker just can't reproduce it. 
quickly or efficiently enough so that I can hear it the way it's actually happening in the room. It's kind of a rough representation of what's happening. And most of the time for tracking and players, that's absolutely fine. The other thing is bass notes just kind of get jumbled. Like anything in the low mids or even on down to the subs just gets lumped together. Like it gets glued, sometimes in like a pleasing way, but when I'm doing stuff like this, I don't want something pleasing, I want something honest. And Lenses is a great name. <laughs> Vocal has a sound. And if you like that sound, you like that sound. I tend to like that sound. This feels like the Focal sound for me. So putting my natural bias out there for you, again, it's because people are gonna say it, not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid. I don't get to keep them. I have to send them back. I'm just trying them, but you should try them too. Cause I am finally excited about some headphones. Let's go. Look at this room. This is a nice room. This was a pleasure to record in. <laughs> So I have had some time with these. Uh, release date is not for a very long time, so I'm not gonna get my hands on a set even if I wanna buy them <laughs> for a while. But this is something that I wanted to talk about because I always preach about like sitting in front of some speakers and I, that would be really, really hard to replace for me. And I've gotten out a few other sets of headphones and I've got a few more over here. Uh, I've listened to it against some of my favorites, like my Bayer Dynamic, my DT770s and 990s. And if these don't look like Bayer Dynamics, it's because I've got the Deconi pads on these things. Uh, fantastic upgrade for any set of headphones that you might have. Deconi, I didn't really know much about them, but if you need pads, check them out. The III TMA2 Studio Pluses, these are fantastic. Either in wired or lossless mode. Really, really good sounding headphones. Sennheiser HD 660s, 600s, a few others I've got over there. Like none of these headphones are bad. If you need to do something closed back, which a lot of times I need good reference material that's not released yet, so if I'm sitting somewhere in public, I need closed back headphones and I've never been excited about that market. The thing that I like about my monitors is the speed of the transient and the sound stage and the low end is great. The low end here is very useful, I found. And if I needed to mix, I could do it on these. I could do it on a whole lot of set of headphones. I mean, I'm not gonna say I can't sit here and mix on headphones, people do it. You're used to what you're used to. And this is, this would make it a very easy transition for me because the same things that I like about these are here, that super fast transient. And the soundstage clarity here is bonkers and you don't need a crazy setup to be able to run them. That's the thing that I appreciate here and the reason I don't get into headphones because I'm not one to take around like a whole other headphone amp with what I'm doing. If I'm doing it on headphones, it's because I can't be in my room and I need to be mobile and I need to be like fast and accessible with this stuff. And like this falls into that category. I can keep them in a bag, whip them out when I need them. I can give them enough power with just about any source that I would be using, laptops typical interfaces stuff like that you don't need a dedicated DAC for these although i'm sure that would open them up like crazy for you guys who are way more audiophiles than i would ever be uh, tracking with them is one thing <laughs> and being able to hear that big room uh now doing like some different stuff some metal some some mixing of different other genres rock ccm like the sound stages it's it's impressive more impressive than I have thought to look for in headphones and it's kind of got me rethinking like the headphone market as of tools like that for me. So really sad to let these ones go again. They're not mine. I'm not paid to make a video. This is just something super interesting to me because I've been so against headphones for a long time. And I think these maybe have changed my mind uh, or at least to start like really taking a look at the market because they feel good. Wearing them for days on end, they're comfortable, they're light, the transients are fast, they're honest, they're not overhyped in any one direction, they're not overly bright, they're not scooped, they're not this exaggerated consumer low end. They're like truth telling headphones, which I, I can get behind that all day long. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna know more about Focal and what they do, I've got a video on these speakers. If you wanna check that out, click this video right here. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.